Hi everyone. Uh, Monday the 20th of April. Um, we've obviously have got another three weeks in uh, in lockdown now, so um, just another update from me really. Um, uh, I think, uh, number one, great job on the challenge. Um, I know it was a very cutthroat and it was very uh, on the line, but sometimes we win the close ones and sometimes we don't. And uh, I think that was a win-win for everyone uh, getting involved in that. Really, really, uh, really happy that went ahead. Um, uh, and, and and really this week, I'm just uh, looking at some of the things I've been doing um, and some of the things that I would take away from what we're going through at the moment. And so uh, the first things that I've been doing, um, a lot more work with either athletes or coaches um, uh, around learning. So uh, I've just come off of uh, an hour and a half Q&A with Bill Sweetnam. Um, I set it up with Bill over the last few days to uh, to come and have a chat with a load of coaches, and he is multiple Olympic uh, gold medalist coach who was he was uh, one of the fundamental people who drove British swimming forwards over the last few years, um, uh, or from 2000 till 2008, I believe it was, and uh, it was just good to have a, a, a lot of like-minded people in in a Zoom meeting and asking Bill a load of questions, and he was fantastic. He was open and honest as he ever is. Um, and so I've been doing stuff like that. I've been doing. I've just uh, done a self-assessment of myself, seeing what I bring to the table, what I don't bring to the table, where my strengths and weaknesses are, and I'm just going through it. It's a, my emotional control and trustworthiness and consistency, adaptability, and so on. So. Uh, I'm going through that and I'm working uh, on some bits that I can maybe change uh, in myself, um, which I've, I'm quite enjoying as well. Um, but what is it that we, what I would look at over after this um, and the lessons that I've learned? So one of them would be uh, communication within the program. Um, I think that we have some good channels set up um, in terms of WhatsApp groups and how that works, but. I think this open communication format on YouTube of me sitting down once every week or every couple of weeks and just giving a, a bit of an update or a post-competition update or something along those lines is probably the way that we're leaning more so now than ever. And I think that that would be something that I would definitely keep. I think it's excellent. I think it's um, everybody gets to hear something every week or every two weeks, um, whatever we decide on. But I, I do think it's a really good format that we've not used before. Um, uh, it's given me a chance as well to step back and look at what we've done in the past um, coming up for eight years this summer um, I, I've enjoyed every minute of being here at Ellesmere and it gives us an opportunity to look back at the, what the fundamentals were that got us the success that we've had and it's obviously going to be a, a re, revamp come the summer of, uh, of where we are and moving forwards and so I quite like the idea of uh, looking back at what made us really successful, uh, tweaking it, moving it on and making us better as a programme. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that. And, and the third one really was a, I, I didn't I didn't even need to have it stamped really, but I just think it's given me a real belief of um, of the programme and what we have as a programme. And uh, I I absolutely love working with the age groups and the age ranges that I work with. I've uh, a lot of people have, have questioned previously whether I'll, I'll move on after after the Tokyo Games, and um, and I thought they'd be crazy asking the question for the beginning. But I think during this, it's brought on that massive belief that I might be part of the wallpaper in terms of Ellesmere College Titans, but um, it's something I believe in. And I think that once we've got a belief like that, I think that we stick to it. Um, we don't just take on this first block of uh, what we've done. We, we regenerate it. And uh, we make it exciting for the next block. And uh, I'd, I'd really, our little snippet of Ellesmere, I'd like to um, create that legacy there with with you guys and your support. Um, so that would be my three takeaways at this point. It might change, you don't know. Um, and then the last thing, because uh, I don't want to drag on too long. I don't want you to spend more than five minutes with me, uh, is a challenge for this week. Uh, I haven't got a challenge. What I'd like to think about is the idea of raising some money for the NHS as a programme. Um, and I know it's difficult times, um, but I've considered in a couple of weeks' time putting this together over this course of over the weekend or a Sunday or something in two weeks maybe. Of the whole program has to do a, th a million steps in in a day, 
Um, I don't know how feasible it is. I think 60 members, 60 members at 16 and a half, maybe 17,000 steps in a day gives you a million. Um, and so uh, let me have a look into it and make sure we, we like it or don't like it. If you like it um, on the WhatsApp, just give us a thumbs up and we'll, we'll all go chasing and see whether it's something we can do um, and raise some money in the process. Um, that's it for me this week. So uh, look after yourselves. Stay positive. Stay at home um, and speak to you again soon.